In today's video, I'm very excited to present to you guys how much snowfall you can expect for 2022 to 2023. It is worth noting that a few days ago, we uploaded our when to expect your first snowfall video. So you can check that one out. I'm going to link a playlist in the description or better yet in the description and the pinned comment where you can check that out. Uh, also, our uh, when to expect your peak fall foliage video we uploaded recently. You can check that one out as well. We also made our first freeze video. So when do you expect your first freeze? And last but certainly not least, a couple of days ago, we uploaded our winter forecast, our second winter forecast for 2022 to 2023, where you could check that out and find out what's underneath these question marks. That one is going to be on your top right corner of your screen right now, so you can click that and check it out today. Now, our first layer here, this is all based on your average annual snowfall. Our first two layers here that you can see on the screen is your will see snow layer there in the white. So on average, you will see snow if you're in the white. And then the gray areas is where on average, you unfortunately will not see snowfall. Does this mean you definitely won't see snowfall this year? Absolutely not. Um, that does not mean that. But on average, you do not see snowfall. It's also a good time to mention that this is going to have some inaccuracies with it. We had a couple of people in yesterday's video, uh, or not yesterday's video, the video where we went over when to expect your first snowfall, mentioning that I had cities like uh, Las Vegas and a few others expecting snowfall. Um, some of these areas are very, very interesting where, you know, there's valleys and mountains and deserts and so many different things going on that it would take me 10 years to build a map that would be perfectly accurate. Um, it just would take forever. It's just not possible for me to do. Uh, however, this is a low resolution version that hopefully is going to give a, a bigger picture uh, idea. Um, now, if you're on a mountain or in a valley, you have to adjust based on that, like I mentioned, because there's obviously hundreds of thousands of mountains and valleys in the United States. And again, it would just take me forever. So I do apologize that this couldn't be perfect. I wish it, I wish it was. Now we have our next layer here which is your above three inches layer there in the blue. So congratulations, if you are in the blue region, you expect more than three inches of snowfall or exactly three inches of snowfall. Now, if you remain in the white region, you expect a, a, a dusting or less all the way up to three inches in the white. That's, where, that's your average snowfall in there. Things are getting pretty interesting here. Let's add another layer. This is your above six inches layer. So if you're in the darker blue that we now have on screen, you can expect above six inches of snowfall. Now, if you remain in the lighter blue region, this means that you expect three to six inches of snowfall on average. Now, we have an even darker blue region, and this is our above 10 inches region here for all of these darker blue regions. So this is still over half of the United States, I think averaging over 10 inches of snowfall. We can see that the, the remaining blue region is where we average six to 10 inches of snowfall. Uh, so these areas, um, in, in general, these areas are gonna see six to 10 inches of snowfall per year. But again, this does not mean that you won't see more or less than these amounts. But if you take you know the last 100 years, add them all together, this is what the amounts would be um, based on our historic averages. Now, let's add this magenta region. This is going to be our above 15 inches region, and I, I'd say this is right around half the United States in the purple region and outside of that purple region. The remaining very dark blue region is where we average 10 to 15 inches of snowfall per year. Um, so there's a lot of areas in there like Richmond, Virginia, um, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Not seeing any anywhere else really. Okay, interesting. Now, let's add our next layer. That's this bright pink layer. This is our above 20 inches region. You can see how confusing things are getting out west where colors are overlapping. There's so many weird things going on. It's mostly the eastern United States where there's a lot of distance between these regions. But in the western United States, it's just mountain and then valley. You go from averaging nothing to then a ton within just a you know, what seems like a few miles. Very interesting stuff. Uh, but the remaining magenta region is where we average uh, 15 to 20 inches of snowfall. So I'm trying to see if there's any cities in this one, St. Louis, let's see, uh, Kansas City as well is in there. Uh, so there, there's a few regions in there for sure. 
I, I think Cincinnati, Ohio is in there as well. I always get Columbus and Cincinnati mixed up, so I don't know which one that is. But the very, very southern big city there in Ohio is also in there. Also, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore looks to be in there as well. So there's a few regions in that magenta region. Let's just add our next layer here, and it's going to be our red region. And the red area is where we're seeing above 30 inches of snowfall. The pink region is where we average 20 to 30 inches of snowfall. Um, so we see cities like Columbus or Cincinnati. Again, I get those mixed up. But whatever one is the middle one of the big cities in uh, Ohio there. We see Indianapolis in there. We see Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we also see there in New York City, we average uh, 20 to 30 inches of snowfall. Um, so quite a few areas are in this region. A few of the big Ohio Ohio Valley and Mid-Atlantic cities are in the pink region. Uh, let's add one more layer here, and this is going to be our darker red region. So now the remaining bright cherry red areas are going to be your 30 to 48 inches of snowfall regions. Minneapolis, Cleveland, Chicago, uh, Boston in there as well. So we're seeing quite a few regions. And then that red region in there is going to be our above 48 inch region there in the very very dark red region so we see a lot of that there for the rockies the cascades uh we see up there for the upper midwest and great lakes as well where we expect lake effect snowfall and then the northeastern united states these are all the areas that average above 48 inches of snowfall congratulations if you're in the darker <laughs> darkest red region you average the most snowfall in the united states basically you're in our top layer here now, let's go a little bit over some of the differentials and some of the things they could either add or subtract from this number. So we're going to be giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek to that winter forecast. Again, you should still check it out for a deeper breakdown. But overall, we expect drier conditions here in the south. We could see below average precipitation here across the southern United States. Maybe a sign of below average snowfall for some of these regions with less precipitation coming through. That's certainly possible. Keep that in mind. And then we see for the northern United States, we see above average precipitation, which could lead towards more snowfall than normal. If you're questioning if I'm biased here, I do live in the darkest brown region in Virginia there. So uh, not really playing into my favor, but these are my thoughts. Uh, we are in what's called a La Nina, which is the opposite of what you've probably heard, which is called El Nino. Uh, we're in a La Nina, which usually favors a precipitation pattern that looks very, very similar to this. El Nino would be the complete opposite. So just for context, we do have a really good reason for why we're calling for this. Let's get straight into the temperature forecast. We do expect below average temperatures for most of the eastern half of the nation here, as you can see, which could lead towards more snowfall than normal. So keep that in mind as well. Now, the western half of the nation, or western maybe third or even fourth, better yet, is where we expect uh, le uh above average temperatures. I know I don't know why I struggled so much right there, but we expect above average temperatures out west, and this could lead towards some below average snowfall if conditions are too warm. I will say a lot of the mountainous regions like the Sierra Nevadas, the Cascades there as well, these areas will not really struggle based on temperature. It's going to be more about precipitation because those areas are so high elevation that this type of stuff isn't really going to matter. Now, let's go over the snowfall chance forecast because this definitely plays a big role uh, and we have below normal snowfall chance, according to my winter forecast, in the southern United States, or really any of those brown regions that you see, uh, based on the precipitation and the temperature forecast. These are my thoughts for our snowfall chance. And then we see for the northern United States in the blue regions, that's where we have above normal snowfall chance. So in the brown regions, I think there's a good chance you're going to see less than what that average was in the beginning of the video. In the blue regions, I think there's a good chance that you're going to see above that amount that you saw in the beginning of the video. So... That's where I'm at right now. That is currently uh, what my snowfall forecast is, my winter forecast, and the average annual snowfall. So I hope this gives you a bigger picture and idea of what to expect this upcoming winter uh, as far as how much snowfall you can be expecting. Again, be sure to check out all those videos we mentioned in the beginning, the winter forecast, the fall foliage, the first freeze, the first snowfall. We've been really putting out those videos for you guys. I know it's pretty uh, interesting to a lot of you and every single year I get a lot of people asking me about it before I make it so I'm always excited to make it for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it anyway be sure to like this video if you did leave a comment down below with how much snowfall you think you'll see this upcoming winter I'd be curious to hear what you think and also be sure to subscribe for some more weather content we're going to be uploading videos like this throughout the fall and winter as well so be on the lookout for those anyway I'll see you guys in the next video